symbol in here, and that would reduce the price. Um, so, but for right now, we're not gonna we're, we're gonna have the different colors are all gonna be the same price. So we're not gonna put a value in there, and so we'll go ahead and insert that. And let's go ahead and add the next. So you can see how this can become a tedious task, especially if you have to add multiple options like size and color and well, whatever else you might need to add. But you have to select the item. You have to select the item each time you want to add a different option value to it. So for instance, there's three values for color. So I have to do this three times. Select the toaster three times, select color, and select the value. Put in the sort order, and if there was any additional pricing. For instance, like if, if this was size, and for extra large, it's an extra $5 or $3 or whatever the case is, you would put that in there. Okay, now our two-slice toaster has the options to select red, blue, and green. So if we go back to our shopping cart now, uh, let's see, I think that's in home decor. And we go ahead and is that in home decor? Where is our toaster? Um, oh, appliances. Okay, it's in appliances. And there's our toaster. Go ahead and click on our toaster. Pretty expensive toaster there. It's it's antique. Uh, and here we go. Select color. Red is uh, the first option. Click on our drop down menu and you can select blue or green and then you go ahead and add that to the cart. Uh, so that's how you put the attribute in. Now, let's say for instance, you wanted to do this, uh, say you had all you sold were toasters, all various different styles of toasters, sizes, um, and you wanted to add these color options to all of them. Now, if you had to do it the way I just did it, that would be a pretty tedious task. Uh, so I'm actually going to show you a little shortcut on how to add that those three options to other products. So you click here on Categories and Products. So you go back to your main category, your products uh, for your store. And we'll navigate to the toaster. So you click on Appliances. And we'll go ahead and find the toaster. And here's the toaster. Click on the toaster. And your screen, because of the tutorial, my screen, I have to scroll over. Um, so you might have to do, you might not have to do that with yours. Okay, so if you if you go down to the bottom of the image of the toaster here on the right, uh, you see it says product attributes copier. So you can copy two, and then you have product ID numbers. So first thing you might want to do is you're going to have to know the ID numbers for the products that you want to copy this to. So just for purposes of this uh, tutorial, we're going to make this one simple. We're going to click on this green cast iron pot here. But uh, in order to get the, the product ID numbers, you can either navigate to the products one by one, um, or you can download the database for the products and, and check it that way. Um, so actually, let me back up here. Get the uh, product number for this toaster uh, of the pot. So, okay, here we go. And click on the pot. And we'll get there. Okay, so this is product ID number 97. So we'll go back to the toaster. Let's uh, going on here. Getting some timeout errors. Okay, here's our toaster. We'll go ahead and click copy to. Okay, 
Okay. And here we are, copying attributes from item number 95 to item number 97. And here you have the option to delete all attributes and downloads before copying. Uh, so basically, if this item already had some attributes for size and color, we can choose to delete them or it would just add to the attributes that are currently with that item. This item doesn't have any, but we're just going to leave delete attributes. Check and we'll go ahead and delete that. Uh, and copy that, so we copy that over.